Our top story this morning, new overnight, a deadly shooting after a concealed carry license holder opens fire on someone opening fire on him. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rulin' about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Two right now and some breaking news. Police investigating a shooting. This happened in an apartment on Jacksonville Southside. And Tristan Hardy joining us now live from Southside Boulevard, very near Bay Meadows. And uh, Tristan, we're hearing that police did just give you an update within the last couple of minutes. What happened? Yeah, that's right, uh, Lou. We just wrapped up the media briefing with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. What we know so far is that a woman in her 40s was shot in this situation. She's expected to be okay. Authorities said that she was shot in the abdomen. What we know is that police say they responded around 2 a.m. to an apartment complex involving forced entry, they say. Uh, the victim and one other person in an apartment complex, two suspects uh, break in and they say there was a shootout that occurred, but it only ended with one person going to the hospital. As of now, there are no arrests and authorities are looking at surveillance cameras and talking to neighbors, trying to piece together what exactly happened. Again, no arrests at this point, but uh, the victim in this situation is expected to be okay. At the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is searching for two people after a shooting at the Vista Bay Apartments on the south side. Police say two people forced their way into an apartment, shooting a female inside when gunfire broke out. Drew Cosgray spoke to those in the south side community about what happened. I mean, it was really surprising because you don't normally hear stuff about, like, Southside normally <laughs> always has good reviews. That was the reaction from Chad Patrick after hearing that two people forced their way inside an apartment at Vista Bay Apartments, shooting a woman in the abdomen. Police say when the suspects forced themselves in the home, which resulted in an exchange of gunfire. So earlier this morning around 2 a.m., officers responded to a person shot in the 8700 block of Bell Reeve Boulevard. Officers located an adult white female with a gunshot wound to her abdomen, and she was transported to the local hospital, and she is listed in non-life-threatening condition. We looked into the calls for service at the Vista Bay Apartments and found over the last year, you can see that several JSO calls have been made, ranging from trespassing and squatting. In July, they were called out for a person cut, and in August, assault. We reached out to the complex about the calls for service and left them a voicemail. While Patrick doesn't live in the complex, he is concerned about the crime happening so close to home. You really can't help it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just make sure you lock your doors, I guess, and just be cautious. Right now, there's no description of the suspects, but if you do have any information, you can call the police. Reporting, this is Drew Cosgrave, First Coast News, on your side. Without mine, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, you never catch me without mine.